I'm Father Pacomius, a monk of Conception Abbey, and I am an artist. I, I suppose you would say a religious artist, and primarily I consider myself uh, an iconographer. When I am doing art, um, I think that I'm fulfilling one of my vocations. I always felt like this was something that I had to do. It was something that I was recognized from a young age that I could do, and being a very shy kid, I got a lot of um, I guess, uh, reinforcement that this was something I should be doing. And throughout my life in coming to discern what I would be doing with that, I really thought that that should be something that came into my vocation. And so I don't consider it just a hobby. I consider it a charism that God has given me. And within the community, then, it's not just something that I do um, to entertain myself, although I do that as well. I do it um, as a way of kind of transcending myself. I'm doing something that is for the church and helps my community, um, provides beauty in the world, and I don't want to make that too lofty um, from the things that I do, because I do things like sacramentals, these beautiful icons. I do things like doodle and notebooks. I do things like graphic design around here. Um, I was able to get the opportunity to learn iconography um, partly because I had this desire in myself to fulfill this kind of part of me in the monastery. And um, the abbot, it just sort of worked out that I had this opportunity, I had an invitation to learn it, and the abbot provided me with, with the ability to go do that. He gave me the support to, to develop my gifts in that way. I've probably done, um, in over a decade, I've probably painted um, into the upper 20s of icons. Um, some of them have been quite large, so they take a long time, you know. Um, the largest I've done by myself was about five feet tall. Um, the one I, I did uh, with my teacher and, and, a, and another student um, was uh, seven foot by eight foot. It was a mural. And uh, so it, it kind of depends in that way. It depends on how intricate the scene is, how large it is. I'm working with real material stuff. I'm working with paint. Um, out of a tube that's made out of minerals and semi-precious stones and I'm working with you know water and oil and real gold leaf and these kinds of things and I mix them together in any continuum of variations of color to get what I'm trying to um, create and from these things I create the illusion of um, a real person or a real object or something that's completely abstract but just beautiful in itself um, and I have to also um, kind of make up for my own weakness and my lack of training. I'm not really trained as an artist, you know. Um, I have very little training. It's mostly raw talent that kind of develops skill over time. So I have to use these models like this because I, I draw people with legs that are too short and things like that. So I have to go back and rely on these good things like this so that um, I know what I'm doing.